Oh. Some advice for fellow uh, Taurus Risings on uh, their tentative, tentative uh, Cancer third house nature and why it is that it's so hard to uh, figure out why it's hard to really assert yourself in a situation. And, uh, you know, sometimes. What's happening is that Cancer energy is trying to tell you that you're in the wrong location. <laughs> you already made the mistake. Um, it's not that, like, when people are telling you um, that, uh, you know, you should have thought more about what you were doing, it, it, the, the problem is not you thinking before you speak, it's a... Um, it is a physical thing. It is something that you did already. It's, you should know, you have to figure out that if you have your way that you view things and do things, and you go somewhere where it's in an, a place where it, you know, kind of contradicts what you're doing, then you're going to have problems, and you're going to create negative karma. Uh, as can be seen by the mistake I just made of uh, where I got I confused myself on um, thinking that people like people were saying that I need to act on you know my impulse more and I feel like this is something you can get mixed up on too and I think this is the case for other people in their areas placements of you know thinking twice before you do that again because you have a next house to have something to consider after you know to be able to say that you know to pull you away from doing that negative thing but as a Taurus rising our responsibility is the Aries we have to be doing the right action all the time and us going in the wrong place or doing the wrong thing is an instant indicator of, you know, the issues going on with Taurus in general, um, because we're the example of that, so. <sighs> yeah, it's, don't, you know, because Taurus Risings can overthink, you know, sit there and, you know, seem slow because they... What is happening is you're trying to incorporate yourself into the situation when you're in the wrong place. It's like an analogy with like the Taurus rising and the Aquarius in the tenth house. It's if you're you know in a tenth house situation as Taurus rising, then you're already like a rock in someone's shoe. You know what I mean? Like you know, think of a rock. You know, rocks that people carry around, like. Rocks are fucking amazing. Rocks are fantastic. Um, actually, Universal Frequencies just uh, enlightened me, made me realize, like, why crystals and, uh, you know, how they actually work and how you can actually use them, you know, by, you know, working on them. Or actually, I would actually say not how the crystals work, per se, which it is, it's learning how they work, but... As far as the misunderstanding that I feel like people have about them, it's more the work that they can motivate you to do, your work, um, that by, like, you know, studying them and, you know, you know, realizing, like, how they, you know, their structure and things of that nature. So, um, but, you know, if you... I'm going to assume, don't quote me on this at all, but I'm going to assume if you use the wrong crystal with the wrong structure for the wrong situation, that, you know, you're going to be charging or, you know, something's not going to be losing its charge like it's supposed to be, you know, things like that, and, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's kind of like, you know, the, the rock that got into someone's someone's shoe that, you know, didn't want you in, in that area. So, 
and then also, you know, Aquarius, you know, that kind of rebellious, you know, going against the system, you know, energy is in the 10th house, which is the symbol of status. So you're going to always be in a 10th house situation. You're going to be that odd one out, you know, and every rock is, you know, special, has its composition, has its you know, traits, but there are other energies other placements other types that just where it just doesn't fit at the moment and that's what that cancer energy is trying to tell you uh, at least in my case you know or because it's in the third house so i'm taking a short trip so that um you know cancer energy has helped me fill out the situation you should since it's cardinal water i'm i'm thinking you know, you should be following that feeling that you have. When someone says, like, you know, your gut feeling, or, or even though, well, scratch that. There is a correlation there I'm trying to make between you're the real areas, you should go with, you know, your first thing, but cancer energy isn't necessarily right there for everyone, but... Just basically, you know, if you feel off, it's probably because you aren't supposed to be there. So, you know, place the rock somewhere else where, you know, it actually jives with the situation. Uh, also, I don't know, and whoever watches this that would respond, what's your opinion? Do you think it would be better for me to keep the video up where I made my mistake? Or do you think it would be better to go ahead and erase it? Because I don't want to, like, hide from something I've done wrong, but then I also don't want to, you know, affect people negatively with the mistake I made by, you know, placing myself in the wrong area, so... Uh, <sighs> yeah, there's that. <sighs> but I guess, um, I guess that's about it for now. So. <sighs> Be, you know, mindful of who you are and others around you. And, uh, yeah. We'll talk to you guys later.